Okay, meeting with University of Akron head coach Caleb Porter. Coach, we're uh, five sessions into your preseason training schedule. Uh, how, how's the team progressing so far? Good. Uh, started Monday. This is Wednesday. Uh, this was our fifth session, and uh, we're making good progress. Obviously, we returned a lot of guys with experience from last year, so it's a bit of a refresher for them. Getting them dialed back in, our style, our philosophy, putting the pieces together. And the new guys really, you know, they're learning on, on the fly. It's a bit of cram coaching, and, and uh, you know, we have a short window here to get ready for, for the season in, in North Carolina. So, but I like the energy. The mentality is very good. Um, and, uh, you know, I would say we're probably ahead of even last year at this point um, in some ways. In other ways, I think we're maybe a little behind. But, uh, you know, in the scrimmages, we've, we've seen some really good stuff uh, been scoring goals. Um, and uh, this team seems to have a killer instinct in the attack. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more rhythm at times. You know, our possession, which is so important to our style, uh, has been a little bit uh, hot and cold. Um, and our transition and pressure, which are also very important, I think we need to get that back uh, on track. Um, but those things will come together. Uh, and we like what we're seeing. Now we're ranked uh, number one preseason in two of the major polls, and the only two that have been released so far. Uh, is it good to see that Akron is no longer viewed as, as a mid-major by the national media? Well, it's great, great respect uh, for the coaches to view us as the number one team. Of course, a lot of it's based on last year. Um, and we don't get caught up in, in these type of things, especially prior to the season when no games have been played, it's someone's opinion, and someone's opinion based on no games being played really doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, you know, and we're really focused on the details, the first game, and uh, we want to be number one at the end, not at the, at the beginning. And so our players are very mature, and, and we, we dealt with this last year. We were, we were ranked pretty much number one all season long, and, you know, at the end of the day, we don't... Uh, let those things define us or dictate our confidence or our belief one way or the other. Uh, you know, we stay focused on the, on the most important things, and that's getting, beget, getting better as a team, progressing, getting focused on each game one at a time and learning lessons. And we want to be playing our best soccer at the end of the year, making a run for a national championship. That's our standard here, and uh, that's what we're going to continue to focus on. Now, Saturday, you guys are going to be hosting an inter-squad scrimmage. Uh, what can you tell fans about that? event? Well, we've been doing some training games throughout the week already. We like to in the morning do some, you know, some sessions, some, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, bread and butter activities that reinforce our style of play, do some teaching of the principles in each phase, attacking, defending, and then we apply it into the game. Because at the end of the day, training prepares us for the game, for the matches. And uh, so we've been doing a, a bit of that, but we'll do a little bit more formal training game on uh, Saturday the 21st we'll do it on our practice field our game field isn't isn't quite ready uh, we'll hold off on getting on there but it'll be a great opportunity for people to come out see some of the new guys uh, take a look at you know sneak peek at our team and you know we'll, we'll play two 45 minute halves we'll approach it uh, like a game we won't put the, the kits on yet the uniforms but but we'll approach it just like we would a normal game so we hope fans will come on out and take a look at, uh, at some of our new guys and uh, give people an idea of what we're about this year. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks, Thanks for your Paul. time. All right.